I've seen like very little of this city so far, but it is very beautiful. It's a this is a beautiful city. Wow. Puebla and Cholula, Mexico are just two and a half hours outside of Mexico City. So while I'm living in Mexico City for a month, I thought I would come here to Puebla and Cholula and check both of these cities out for the weekend. I booked this $20 a night Airbnb, made a friend, and had a wonderful time exploring Puebla and Cholula. This video is me exploring Puebla. The next video is me exploring Cholula, which not gonna lie, is a bit more of an epic video than this one. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss that video too. That'll be coming out in a few days. What is happening guys? Welcome back to another Adam Ventures vlog. Today I'm in the city of Puebla, Mexico, and uh, we're gonna go explore this city. It's a Saturday. It's 4.30 right now. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this bar that has been around for over a hundred years and grab a shot. I guess they have like a house specialty shot that's like always uh, unique or something. I don't know, it's supposed to be good. So that's the first thing we can do. Go get drunk here in Puebla. A lot of markets out and about too on Saturdays. I don't know if that's there every day of the week, but there's just markets everywhere. That looks like fun. Wow. Oh, we're here. La Pasita. Hola. Es cerrado? Sí. Oh. Por qué? Pandemica? Ah. Uh, uh. Dang, looks like it was affected by the pandemic, but I guess it'll be open tomorrow from noon to five. So Sunday it's open from noon to five. So I'll have to head back there tomorrow. So much stuff is affected by the pandemic here in Mexico. I feel like in the States, like less stuff is like there's, most things are still open. At least like if they're of like historical significance like that. I don't know, maybe, I, I guess I really haven't spent a lot of time in the US during the pandemic, so it's hard to know. Hola, ¿cuánto cuesta para el lado de Nagara? 50. 50? Yo quiero. Oh, that's really good. This is Angela's kiss. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's so good. That is delicious. <laughs> yeah. I'll do uh, I'll do this one. This was delicious. This is a nogada for ice cream. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. <laughs> is this the most common flavor right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, muy bien. So in Mexico, specifically in like central Mexico, chilies and nogada is a very popular dish this time of year. I tried it just a couple days ago. I'm probably gonna have it again tonight. But this is ice cream of nogada, helado de nogada, which is like um, I think nogada is walnuts. I sampled it. It is so, so good. Let me sample it again. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Puebla has like a cable car sort of thing called this. And uh, I'm walking there right now. I was gonna take an Uber, but an Uber's gonna take me 20 minutes. It's gonna take 28 minutes to walk there. So really wasn't gonna save me that much time. So I'm just walking there because I can walk a lot faster than Google Maps thinks I can. That's it, right over there. I think I'm in the park. All right, I just climbed up a big hill. Been walking for like more than 20 minutes now, almost there, almost to the Teleferico. There's this big weird thing here. It almost looks like, I don't know, maybe water is supposed to go in there in a flood or something. Not exactly sure. If anyone, if anyone watching this is from Mexico and you know knows the answer, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious what this thing is for. Almost there. Oh. The Teleferico was pretty cool, totally worth the 30 pesos to take it one way, but honestly, I was able to get much better views of the city with my drone. There wasn't any glass in the way. All right, I'm gonna find a nice sneaky little spot here to fly my drone. There's actually a lot of cops in this area. There's like cops pulling people over on this road and on that road, but I'm gonna stand in the middle and try to fly my drone. It's only loud like right away, so I think I'll be 
I'll be good as long as I don't pull someone over right when I'm landing or something. Next, let's talk food. Puebla is home to several popular foods, but two foods you absolutely have to try when you're in Puebla is mole and semitas. Let's start with mole. Mole is a sweet chocolate sauce that comes on almost anything. Mole poblano means it's mole from Puebla. The mole chilequiles with chicken from this place is to die for, and this cute little cafe is great to work from. Another mole poblano dish I had was from this place. I'm having the best breakfast here, so I got enchiladas with mole, coffee, and fruit with yogurt for like less than six dollars. This is amazing. So good. Something else you absolutely have to do when you're in Puebla is get a churro. This place is famous. Next up, semitas. A semita is a type of torta, which is a specific type of sandwich that is made out of hard bread and has deep fried chicken and potatoes in it. There's also avocado and tons of cheese, and it's massive. You're definitely going to want to spend some time in Puebla's Zocalo. Zocalo means center of town. Every city in Mexico has one. It's the main square, and Puebla's Zocalo has a beautiful cathedral that you're going to want to stop and admire. Want to guess what it's called? Seriously, guess. It's not that hard. It's called the Cathedral of Puebla. You're also going to want to visit the Zocalo both during the day and the night for a completely different experience. So that park was pretty cool. Took the cable car up and uh, there's like a planetarium and stuff up there, but it w like everything that was up there is closed. There's a museum up there too, I think. Uh, so I took an Uber back to town. Here is the cathedral. Really awesome. And now I'm actually going to grab a bite to eat right across the street from the cathedral. Uh, and get this meal, chili in nogada, which is like the best Mexican dish I have seen yet. And it's usually like 350 pesos, most places, but I, there's a place right across the street here where it's 150 pesos. So I'm gonna go check that out and get one of those. All right guys, so I'm gonna end this one here. I'm just at the restaurant uh, waiting for my food. It's a beautiful view of the church right here on this balcony. Yeah, I had a good time exploring Pueblo today. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna head to uh, Cholula, a city that's just like 20-30 minutes away, and uh, give that a little uh, exploration. So that'll be a whole nother video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.